Hello everyone and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Today we're going to talk about the new Revenant Elite Specialization called the Vindicator. In this video we're going through, as you can see in the top of the screen, the weapon spells, the new spells you're getting from the two-handed weapon as you can use as Vindicator. You, we're going through the utility spells, which is your healing and other spells you can use. And then of course we're going through the talent and build to see how can you actually build this class or spec Elite Specialization in this game. But enough talk, let's get directly to it. So before we go all the way to it, I'm just going to show you here that we have the Vindicator build here, the new Elite Specialization. Elite Specialization. It gives you the, the ability to use great swords, which basically is the two-handed sword. As you can see here, we have talents, and also now I have a two-handed two sword on as a Revenant, which you cannot use in the current game as of right now, but in the next expansion, Revenants can then equip two-handed sword when you have unlocked the Vindicator. But let's go to the combat and go through the spells of the weapon. So let's talk about the weapon spells because this is very actually quite interesting. So as you can see now, when we play as uh, the Vindicator, you have a new, uh, a new stance and like a new invoke stance called the Legendary Alliance Stance. And the Legendary Alliance Stance allows you to use a spell called Alliance Tactics, which basically is changing out all your utility spells, and you're using two different, you can say. Um, uh, legendaries people from the old past you, you're using uh, Archimoros and Saint Victor so it's basically changing between Archimoros and Saint Victor spells so it's pretty cool like you're using two different old people the old people you know what I mean like legends but let's not talk about that yet because that's for the utility spells for the first thing we're just going to talk about the standard weapon spells that we can use with the two-handed sword so let's go through and see the first one first one is called the mist swing uh, actually Miss Swing, Miss Slash, and Arcing Mist. It's the it's the number one spell that you use. First, it's gonna just swing and deal damage. Then it's gonna swing again and inflict vulnerability. And then it's gonna cleave your foes and inflict vulnerability and chilling them. Let's let's see that out for ourselves. I did not expect that. Is that something in the talents? Uh, instead of dodging, deliver a powerful blow from above striking foes when you hit the ground. Dodging costs all your endurance. I was just about to roll from there to here, but when I used the roll, we're jumping up in, the, up in the air instead and delivering a smash. Holy. That is cool. That is really cool. Okay. So let's test out the first spell, which is the slash slash and then chill. Slash slash chill. Slash slash chill. Okay, I like these dead effects when attacking. Then second spell is called Mist Unleashed. Hurl forces from mist in front of you, rendering falls vulnerable. Okay, so damage and giving them the vulnerability. Wow. <laughs> that, that was actually quite cool. Just gonna test to see if we change um, the alliance tactics so we use you know another legend for our spells i'm gonna see if the spell looks different no it's the same okay then we have phantom onslaught rush toward your opponent cleaving their rear damage and chill okay it reminds me very much of the like the warrior build okay with a little blade as well like a little blade so you know blade store then we have blocking incoming attacks. It's called Imperial Guard and True Strike. Block incoming attacks for prolonged duration and ready for a counter attack that deals increased damage based on the attacks blocked. And then you strike your foe with empowered energy, deals increased damage on the attacks block. Okay. So if I first use it, we're just gonna block. Okay. So basically, you can only block with it, but if someone attacks you, uh, I'm not sure if it actually automatically uses itself, but it's supposed so you can you, you know use it again and then it will use a counter attack. Cool, let's just kill him. That's that's cool. So like blocking and then how you have a counter attack. Cool. Last one is Eternity Irrecrium. Well, your great sword opening a hole in the mist that deals damage. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's see how that looks. Uh, 
Uh, uh, okay, it, 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 it sounded like a bit cooler. Can we try it? The blogging has some so nice sound effects. Okay, I actually believe that... Uh, let me try that. I mean, I, I, I see the thing that you use it and then it has like 24 bombs that it just like boom, 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 boom. But I, 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 I like when reading it, I had hoped we'd some kind of open the portal or anything like that. Okay. But that was pretty easy and short. Um, that was all the new abilities we get as two hands when using the Vindicator. I'm a fan. I like it. I actually think it has some cool abilities. Like it. Let's go to the utility spells. Cool. So when you're going through a utility spells, it's very important to know that we have two sets of utility spells. We have the blue set, and that's I I, I believe that is our Camoros. And then we have Saint Victor. So when we're changing, uh, like stands, not stands over here, but like we you have another spell where you can change like tactic. And now I think we're using Saint Victor, which is giving us totally different abilities. But um, let's let's try them all and see how they work. I think we should like change every time you use a spell. So first of all, we have here a healing spell. Channel your rage into the Nobi area, into the Nobi area healing and empowering yourself for for each enemy struck. Damage healing. Ah. So basically, when I use it, it damages everyone around me, but it also heals. Okay, ah, and then it automatically shifts to the, you know, the other stance, not stance onto, sorry, the, the, the tactic. What happens if I change? Oh, then it all changes. So now my, my healing is up, ah, and then I can like do it again. Ah, I see. That's cool. So you don't even have to change. It's only like if you use one of these spells and you really want to use it again, you can quickly change to another tactic and use it again. Like uh, like this one here. So this one. Selfless spirit heals allies in area. So basically you're healing everyone in this area. Then I can quickly change tactic. And now it's my next healing spell again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next one, Nomad's Advance, launch forward, damaging foes and gaining might for each target struck. Ah, so you're like doing a Hulk jump and then you get might depending on how many people you you, you hit. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that one more time. It has 600 range. I like it. I actually like it. Okay. Then it replaces with Battle Dance, a weight backward, grinding boons to allies. So you get resistance and regeneration, basically healing you for 700. I like that. And if you need more healing again, you can change, st uh, not stand, sorry, tactic. And then again, it's my next ability down here. And I can use it one more time and get regeneration again. Cool. Then we have Scavenger Burst. Uh, unleash your rage at foes in the area, gaining quickness and endurance for each foe struck. Okay. So it deals damage. Oh, let's uh, go back to the no one. It deals damage, burning, gives me quickness. Okay, let's try that one more time. I like it. Then it get replaced with something called Tree Saw. Grand Restoration cleans conditions from allies in the target area, healing them for each condition removed, gain endurance for each effect. Oh, so it's like removing conditions and then healing depending on how many conditions you're removing. And it also gives regeneration. That's a lot of healing in this build. I kind of like that. I really like that. It's like um, half damage, half support. Then we have Awakening, Break, Stun on Nobi Allies and Grand Protection. So basically if I use it like here, it would then break Stun from us all and um, give protection and stability. Okay, cool. Let's try it one more time. Then it replaces with Re Reavers Rage. Break, Stun and attack Nobi enemies, gaining stability and fury for each target struck. 
Ah. That's cool. So it, that reminds me of like Barbarian f from uh, Diablo 2. So you're like uh, shouting and like, you know what I mean? Uh, that's actually pretty cool. I like, I like how to switch. Now to the ultimate, which is like pretty important. Call upon the spirit of Archimoros. Okay, so the yellow one is Archimoros. To hurl his spear at your foe, dealing significant damage. And you can use it for 2000 range. Holy moly. So I can go all the way up here. <laughs> for 2000 range. And it has... It, it, it basically has no cooldown. I can just change tactic and oh my god, it's... Okay, so you over there, you are very far away. Okay, okay, so you can basically throw over the over side of the map. I like that. Then we have Urn of Saint Victor. Become the Urn of Saint Victor, taking continuous damage while healing nearby nearby allies. You take reduced damage while in this state but you cannot be healed. So basically I'm healing 725 to all my party members or allies. Um, movement speed, 50% movement speed, 50% incoming damage, incoming condition damage, 1% damage, zero heal effectiveness. Okay, let's try it out. So basically I'm taking damage all the time, but I'm healing everyone around me all the time i'm just a healing 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 can i att i can attack at the same time can i heal myself no yeah because healing is totally dropped so basically i'm dropping my health all the way down but i'm gonna i'm probably healing my whole party full up that that is actually quite cool Okay, I was thinking, who should I main when this new expansion comes out? And I think I'm pretty convinced that I am going to play the Vindicator. Because this self-healing damage build... I mean, more like support... You're pretty much supporting your team. I, I can see this really as a new healer type. That's cool. And then I can use my healing on myself. There. Some regeneration. A bit more regeneration. So cool. So, so, so cool. Okay. Well, that is, the, that, that is the weapon spells. That is the utility spells. And again, our role is replaced with a jump and attack. Now let's go to the talent and builds and let's go directly to it. So let's talk about the talent and builds. So basically we have Vindicator here, which allows us to use Greatsword as a Revenant. Then we have the first one here, instead of dodging, delivering a powerful blow from above striking foes when you hit the ground, dodging costs all of your endurance and can only be executed at full endurance. That's how it is. Then we have Libertarian Strength, Amnesty of Xing Ji, and Redemption of Sermon. Libertarian Strength. F2 now refreshes the cooldown of Alliance Utility Skills. The cooldown of F2 is increased. Ah. I want to test that. So basically, if I use this, 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 and now uses my F2, it then resets them all. So, ooh, that is insane. So basically, when I, for example, use a, a healing spell, something like that, or jumping, anything, and then switches back to the, the other color again, it's just all ready. But what, what are we giving up? Abilities gain additional bonus, activating F2 grant. Abilities gain additional bonus. Activating F2 grant both of these bonus sim similarly. Luxon, uh, simulat, I hate that word. You can read it for yourself. Luxon abilities grant regeneration in an area around you. Cursic abilities grant might in an area around you. Ah. Is that why... Is that why the other ones gave me a regeneration? I mean, this one still gives regeneration. 
Okay, they still have regeneration, but this one is basically making it so that they all give regeneration. Locks an ability, grant regeneration and ring around you. Curse of ability is grand. I think I think all the abilities now. But that's only when you like switching. Yeah, so when you switch, they okay. <clears throat> I guess it's, that's how it is. When struck while below the health threshold, heal allies in a rear and cleans their conditions. So, so that basically means when I get below 50% health, I'm healing 2000 to everyone around me and removing free conditions. More healing. This guy can heal even more. Let me just try this. Changing stance now using this one. I see. Okay. Um, balance in Discord. Discord. <laughs> Discord. Okay. Why, why are you using that word? Gain health and boons when swapping legends or by using alliance tactics while attuned to the legendary alliance. Gain health and boons when swapping legends. Ah, swapping legends. Okay, okay, over here. Or by using alliance tactic, which is this one here. While attuned to... Or while by using alliance tactic. Okay, so you're also getting healing and regen when using this one. That's insane. You're getting 1000 healing and regeneration. Then you have another reason to keep using it because then it keeps healing you. Then we have Reaver's Curse. Gain endurance for each target affected by your dodge. Huh, okay. Uh, and Trust. Grant endurance and area when swapping legends or activating alliance tactic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Song of Aborum. Grant Vico to yourself and nerve allies after dodging. Vico has an increased effect on you. Okay. Uh, Empire divided. Gain increased power while above the health threshold. Gain increased healing power when below. Okay, so but when I uh, when I'm below fifty percent health, I have two hundred forty percent more power. Oh, sorry, two hundred forty more power and two hundred forty more healing power. Okay. Uh, Forerunner of death. Your total endurance and cost of dodging are both increased. Dodging now deals more damage but affects a smaller area. Gain increased damage for period of time upon impact. Forerunner of death. 50% damage. And then death drop from death. Both delivering a massive strike at the focus area. Dealing 2000 damage. Vulnerability. Okay. So it's basically changing our jump let's see how that looks so now we have even more like um a longer bar i guess so it takes even more time to we jump even higher it tanks in a smaller radius but it's an even stronger wow it was like an even cooler like explosion when jumping down 50 percent more damage i like it but what is this doing uh, dodging now grants boon to allies and inflicting chill on struck foes when landing. Extend boon duration for allies upon landing. So basically, you're giving boon duration to everyone. So if you just heal them and jump up, you're basically increasing the length of that healing. I want to see that if it heal on if it works on myself. So here we go. Eight seconds, jumping up. Ten. It works. I actually think it works. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, and also it deals damage, gives me might, and it gives protection. All sorts of things. Then we have Saint of Suheltar. Your endurance bar and cost of dodging are reduced, but the affected area is increased. You now heal allies in the area when you land instead of dealing damage. Outgoing healing is, in is increased for a period of time upon landing. Drop from the bow, granting barrier and healing to allies in the affected area. So basically it gives you shield and healing. God, this build can use, I mean, so when we get this one, it heals everyone when I get to 50 health. Um, we can get some Vigor. We can get some Vigor. We can get 
Th so this one is just basically healing now. And giving shield. That's insane how much healing this build can do. None of these is basically healing. Um, no. I mean, all the red abilities doesn't heal, but whenever I change this one, I get, again, regeneration to myself. And again, this one here is healing allies in area. This one here is, again, is evading back and grinding boons so allies. Basically, it gives regeneration to everyone. This one here is healing and giving regeneration to everyone. This one here is breaking stun on navy allies and grand protection. And this one here is basically healing everyone ultimatum. But it, on the same time, it also kills me. I can even jump with... Oh, okay, okay. It actually destroyed her. This... I am shocked. I am literally shocked. This guy is a massive healer. He's like the most... He's like a super cool two-handed two damage healer. I'm just so impressed. I'm like super impressed. That is so cool. This guy is going to be my new main. No matter what you guys are saying, this is my new main. Capish. Capish. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. That was the Vindicator as a Rivenan. And again, we have basically gone through... Um, the Vindicator, the Weapon Spells, the Utility Spells, and the Talent Bills. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you want to support me in below in the description, uh, because I'm an ArenaNet partner and sponsored by ArenaNet, you can use my links below to create either a free account or pre-order the next Guild Wars 2 expansion or even just buy the Guild Wars 2 game. And it will support me if you use the links below. So if you are planning to try Guild Wars 2 for free or want to buy it, why not just use my links below and help me at the same time while you try the game? Just saying. I really appreciate it. But again, thanks for watching everyone. It was The Vindicator and I am shocked how cool this new Elite Specialization is. Thanks for watching. Have a nice evening and see you in another video. Bye.